Bahamas, you should be proud of your free national movement government. In three short years, look at what we've done. We've increased the national debt by $1 billion. That's a lot of zeros, you know. Wow. Over 8,000 Bahamans lost their jobs. Wow. We've set new records in murders two out of the last three years. <laughs> we put a highway straight through Blue Hill and Market Street. Extended our Iraqi and killed Saunders Beach in the process. And gave the port owners a deal that will cost millions to reverse. Wow. And we've fattened up the economies of Argentina and Canada by giving jobs that Bahamans can do to those countries. Wow. And just when you thought that we've done it all, We've slashed the subsidies to private schools, put the Ramfoley home almost out of business. We've wow. also increased duties on everything, including the Bible, everyday household items, and cars. Wow. But we changed our mind on that one because, well, they donate a lot of money to the FNM. And we flip-flopped on gambling. Yes, folks, your free national movement has been working over time to send the Bahamas back to the good old bad old days. We killed Urban Renewal. Wow. And we've taken the police out of the schools so that the kids can fight and kill each other freely. But wait, there's more. Since we couldn't improve the national grade point average, we just did away with it. No more grade point average. Wow. We also did away with the straw market, you know, so we could give it to the guy who actually came last in the competition. But don't worry, we're building the straw market over again. But this time, with 200 less spaces for straw vendors. Wow. So be glad, Bahamas, your F&M is on the job. When things were bad, we made them worse. When things were tough, we made them tougher. And we'll continue to make things terrible for the Bahamian people because it's a matter of trust. This message is brought to you by Citizens Tired of FNM Doublespeak.